Good day everyone, Connor here from CW's Tech Reviews, back with another video. And today I'm reviewing the Galaxy J7 Pro. So give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and let's get stuck straight into it. Now this year I've been plowing through a number of mid-range devices, trying to find that secondary backup device that I can take anywhere, I can throw around, be a bit heavy handed with it, not worry about too much about smashing it. So part of this journey has led me to the Galaxy J7 Pro, which I think is a real winner. And one of the things we've got to discuss straight out of the gate is the specs. So we're looking at a 5.5 inch AMOLED display, 1080p, which I think is pretty cool. It puts out enough brightness for me. A couple of times it struggled in the really bright light, but you know, it does the job. Then we've got the Exynos 7870. 3 gigs of RAM and on this variant I have 32 gigs of storage. I do believe it comes with uh, 64 gig of storage as well but 32 on this one for me I'm relatively happy with that. We also have 13 megapixel front and rear facing cameras. Rear facing camera is 1.7 aperture, front facing is 1.9. I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised with the pictures that come out of this but we'll check them out later on in the review. We also have a 3600 milliamp hour battery which I'm pretty impressed with and the most important spec of all is the price you're looking at 400 bucks Australian dollars for this now considering that the Moto X4 comes in at 650 you're looking at a real bargain here one of the things I want to clear the air with regarding the Galaxy J7 Pro is is its name itself now Samsung might have got its marketing crossed over a bit with the with the J7 Pro because it's called the J7 Pro. The marketing shows a picture of a young guy paying Samsung Pay at a bar for his drinks while he's kissing a girl and a band playing in the background. And it all looks really teenagery and sort of uh, wishy-washy. But the device isn't like that. Now for the design of the Galaxy J7 Pro, we're looking at an all-metal body and on the back you've got some in curved antenna lines on the top and bottom of the device. And from the front, the device looks a lot like the Galaxy S7. Now it doesn't feel like it, definitely, but it certainly looks like it. You've got the same shape, the fingerprint scanner at the bottom as well, which I might add is a breath of fresh air compared to the S8 and S8 Plus fingerprint scanner. Also, the back and the recents button are baked in underneath the front panel. Um, and they work fine. You can see them. The light fades in and out on it. Not a problem at all with the back and recents button. At the top, you've got your flash, your sensors, and your 13 megapixel front facing camera. Which does look like it has a speaker grill inside it, but it is not a speaker. The speaker is actually on the right hand side of the device above the power button what they were thinking with that setup I do not know but it is there the sounds not too bad it's a little bit tinny but you know what the speaker it is what it is it's in a really random spot on the bottom you've got your micro USB and your headphone jack and on the back you've got your 13 megapixel camera and it all just ties in quite nicely to be honest with you with the unibody and the rounded corners it's really nice to hold easy to handle gets a little bit slippery if your hands are dry or, or the weather's a bit dry but other than that it's a really nice looking device like I said nice curved sides to it no sharp edges I will say that the slots for the micro SD card and the SIM card just a little bit of uh, not quality control but you can tell that you haven't got a flagship device the edges of those slots are a little bit rough but uh, not bad you know I'd give the overall design for this a good 7 out of 10 now I'm going to talk about the software and some of you might think who wants a watered down version of TouchWiz? How hard is it to polish a turd? <laughs> well, I for one am happy with the software on the Galaxy J7 Pro. Yes it is a watered down version of TouchWiz. It's nice and fluid, yes it's Samsung, it's unmistakably Samsung, but the feel of it is good. It's smooth, it's fluid, uh, it's quite responsive. I scroll through the apps, no problems at all. You can see through when I'm scrolling through the, the recent applications. It just smooth and easy to use. 
but there's some features in there that are on the flagship devices that I find really handy like swiping anywhere on the screen to get the notification panel to come down or swiping up anywhere on the screen to get your apps to come up so there's some really good useful features in there that they've left in there but they've left out all that blow so again for this software I'm giving this software a 7 out of 10 now I'm going to talk about the camera and this is always a sticking point for a mid-ranger but I'm happy to say the Galaxy J7 Pro camera, it competes with all the other mid-ranges, uh, some of them it even competes better with. Now, that's not to say that the J7 Pro didn't have its issues. I mean, sometimes I got great photos, and other times the, the color was out, the focus seemed out, or it might be a little bit grainy. And there was no telling when that was going to happen. So one photo taken now would turn out great, five seconds later, the same photo would turn out not so great. Definitely, in the right light, in the right conditions, at the right time, you could pull off a great photo. And here's some examples of the photos I was, was taking with the Galaxy J7 Pro. The video was great as well in, in the right lighting conditions, and the front-facing camera was just as good. I thought the selfie camera was fantastic. The quality of the photos was good. I got to determine how much beauty mode was used on this face. And I got some great results, as you can see throughout this segment. So, definitely a thumbs up. Now I'm going to talk about the battery. This is one area where the Galaxy J7 Pro kicks butt. I've never once had to top this phone up with a charge to get me through the day. I've always got to the end of the day, and I'm talking from 5am right through to 11pm at night, using it as a my run tracker for my health my running, my cycling, um, music for that whole time, GPS, emails, watching videos on YouTube, social media galore, six hours of screen on time, never ever had to top it up to get through the day. This is a winner. If this is your budget, if this is all you can afford, 400 to 450 bucks, now in the US you're talking 250 to 300 then I would get the Galaxy J7 Pro I mean check it out check out the display always on display a super fast fingerprint scanner a decent camera depending on where you are dual sim front and rear 13 megapixel cameras so that's it for my Galaxy J7 Pro review hit me up in the comments if you've got any questions or anything you want to know about the device any other videos you'd like me to do regarding the device, hit me up, happy to do it. Um, Galaxy J7 Pro, make sure you get one. Subscribe, like, comment, all that stuff, and I will catch you in the next one. Check out.